Yeah, hi, we've got a Yamaha DX7 here today with a power supply problem. I spoke to the previous owner and um, the symptoms were typical of a power supply uh, failure. And that is um, that sometimes he said that he found it hard to switch it on. And then once he got it on, he found it very hard to switch it off without pulling it out from the wall socket. Um, he said it also demonstrated intermittent audio output uh, and MIDI in and out signals. Um, he also said at one time he smelled a burning smell, so that's typical of probably a, a capacitor or something um, burning out. Also, um, there was no keyboard responses um, and no sounds from the cartridges when he went to uh, load them. Now, um, typically, the reason for this is that obviously the DX7 now is coming up to its 30 years and um, back in the day people would use them to write with you'd be in the studio session or something you'll have it on for three or four hours and then you'll then pop out and forget to switch it off and sometimes it's probably been on for days so um, yeah there is a life uh, to all of these things um, okay um, we're going to uh, take the top cover off by undoing um, three screws on the left hand side uh, and on the right hand side um, there's also a hinge for the top cover so that when you take these screws off basically you'll be able to just swing it up um, and it'll expose uh, the uh, top layer of the keyboard um, the great thing about DX7s is that they are very very easy to service um, and also um, one of the things which is great about these keyboards is um, that the actual keyboard itself you can raise it and it will clip in uh, at an angle so that um, you've got good access to all of the other components if there are any other component failures like for example internal batteries or you need to change uh, any of the um, modulation wheels or the um, uh, breath or after touch controllers and stuff like that so um, yeah that's uh, a good start uh, from what I'm showing you today now um, we're changing the uh, power supply um, I managed to source um, a uh, power supply over the internet uh, this is a multi-region one so you guys who are um, going to um, do this power supply um, um, upgrade it's good to get a multi-regional one because you never know traveling around the world one day you're famous but you want to use it in all territories so um, yeah if you're gonna if you're going to um, upgrade your power supply it's time to do it um, as you can see here now, um, one of the capacitors have burnt out. So when I said before about there was a smell coming from it, basically it's this power sub this capacitor had burnt out. If you find that um, the actual board itself looks like it's had a, a lot of heat going through it, just swap out the boards. I think there's four screws there, which just you just take the board out and then just replace it with a whole complete unit like what I've got here. There's also a power distribution. Uh, matrix which has also got um, some fuses attached to it so ch just check those fuses if there's a part of the keyboard which isn't powering up properly just check those which I'm showing you here now together with the heat uh, sink which helps uh, dissipate some of the heat coming from it. so basically it's just a straight changeover and um, Bob's your uncle or, or your auntie or whatever else there is so you can see here also there's um, you get straight access for the internal battery Okay, um, and then just do the reverse um, while you've got the keyboard up. I suggest you give it a good old clean as well. I hope it works for you, and uh, good luck. Bye-bye.